In this video we're going to input load cases and load factors in the RCB model. The model that we'll be working on is the one that we looked at in the meshing principles and fixing meshing errors video. Um, we'll input primary and combination load cases and we will prepare these load combinations for batch export. So we're not actually going to input the vertical loads. The way that the vertical loads are input is exactly the same as it is in SLB. Hence we assume that the user has watched and understand the concepts um, talked about in the SLB input vertical loads video. And we're not going to talk in too much detail how to use the, uh, the load cases and load factors input windows. We assume the user already knows how to do that. Um, or in other words the knowledge from the SLB input load cases video is understood. A quick summary what we mean by batch export uh, before we start looking at the feature just so that we understand the concept is the exporting of individual floors from the RCB software to SLB for uh, reinforced concrete design checks and, and PTD for post-tension design. So RCB being the, uh, the 3D software for the global analysis of the building and the design of columns and walls where we input our vertical and lateral load. We use iGross however. Then we send it to SLB for the RC design, PTD for the PTD crack design. So SLB and PTD use I cracked. So when we're calculating our deflections, designing our reinforcement uh, PT, for example, we send it to these programs. Now what is meant by batch export is that from the RCB software, we select multiple levels to send out uh, in basically in bulk to the SLB or, and or PTD programs. These programs are then launched silently in the background and run and then we can view things like deflection results um, in the RCB software without having to leave the RCB program at all. So the thinking is during the prelim stage when we're determining the thickness of our slabs for example using the batch export feature we don't need to leave the RCB program. In order to do this batch export, we need to have the load cases and load combinations uh, for each software defined uh, at the time that we make the RCB model. And as we'll see, each software is a little bit different in terms of the requirements that it needs for its uh, load cases and load combinations. Now, jumping to the RCB software, continuing on from the model that we were looking at previously, we have cleaned up all of the meshing errors and we've I input some slab thicknesses as well. So just looking at it in 3D quickly to remind ourselves of the building that we were working on. Just this um, sort of medium rise residential building with typical upper floors and a few below ground basement floors. So thicknesses are input, loading not yet. Now to input our loading just like in SLB we go to input and we go to load cases. Uh, so we specify the primary cases, their nature. Um, it's important to specify their nature because this is what is used to determine um, for column design the beta value if we're doing it automatically. So in this case it will use the this load case number one for the G calculations, load case number two for Q and we specify um, which case will have self-weight automatically included. We also have our wind and earthquake primary cases specified which we will show we show how we will populate these loads in a separate video. Now, this looks the same as in SLB but with one key difference. We now also have tabs for SLB and for PTD as well. Again, why we have these, we need to be we need to have these set in the central RCB file so that when we do our batch export the program knows what to send and where. So for SLB it's simple, we just have dead and live load um, by default as well, same in RCB, we specify the nature, but the key thing here is that we map it to the relevant RCB case. So by the defaults, so SLB case number one maps to RCB case number one. SLB case number two maps to RCB case number two as well. So any loads from this case will go across to the relevant case. In this case they match one for one so that's all good. Now this will be demonstrated in the uh, the batch exporting video in more detail 
but for the time being this is how we have to set it up so just we match the relevant cases to the corresponding case in the central RCB model if we were going to be doing any sort of export to PTD we would have to do the same thing however due to the uh, the design performed in PTD we have to separate self weight and superimpose dead load into their own cases now the inductor software does this automatically so we all we have to do is specify that the uh, RCB load case number one gets mapped to the PTD load case number five superimposed dead load the program will automatically recognize that uh, basically self weight is included in case number one in PTD and separate superimposed dead load uh, and and self weight from the RCB model automatically and the live load is mapped to the relevant to the matching case in PTD so the primary cases here are set correctly hitting OK we now have a look at our combinations So we can see here that the default cases for RCB, uh, it looks like we're probably missing a few cases. We have ultimate, we have service, and we have a fire case as well. Now anything with envelope ticked will be designed for uh, strength. So if when we do our column and wall design, that's what we'll have. And we also basically set our SLB cases. So the SLB combinations uh, look okay as they are. We also have to specify the sustain moment, the service moments for the service uh, service calculations as well if we're doing a batch export and similarly for PTD. So the default cases for SLB PTD look all right but for RCB we're missing um, some cases. Now we could start put, typing them out manually as we did in the SLB video or we can just import them so to import we go to import and just go to wherever the um, the relevant combinations we want to look at are and this time I'll just choose this Excel file so here I've imported all of the wind loads and then I'd have to fill in the remaining um, fill in the remaining earthquake forces as well So we won't show how we import the earthquake cases, but in principle we just fill these values out and assign values to the matrix that we see here, as we did in the SLB program. The main, um, the main principle in this video to take away is that when we set up the central RCB file, we also have to set the corresponding cases and combinations for the SLB and PTD programs the programs that will be designing our slabs for reinforced concrete for post tension we need to have everything set up before we perform the batch export so we need to make sure that our primary cases map correctly to between the two programs or the three programs and also the combinations must be set for that program before we run the batch export